For the seniors of North Central men's basketball, there were a variety of motivations in their final collegiate season. Family, brotherhood, aspirations of success, and in one specific case, the opportunity to top off a four-year college football career with a return to the hardwood. I grew up around the program my entire life, so um, it was kind of an easy sell to come back and represent the, the school for one more year. Um, also, to get a chance to play with my brother for one more year. I mean, it's not many people get to play with their brother for uh, two years um, in any level of sports, let alone college. I would say we had our sights on like big dreams, big goals. Um, we were talking about Final Four. Um, we thought we could make it, uh, especially with the teams we played against in our conference last year and how far they went. Uh, you know, we thought we could have done the same this year. When I was playing uh, my junior year at Illinois State, I uh, suffered a knee injury while catching a pass that uh, ended my season like halfway through. So I wasn't really uh, settled on ending that way. I wanted to get my master's too. So if I'm gonna be here, why not, you know, play basketball too, use that last year. While it was the final year for many of the team's key contributors and veterans, it was the first year for new head coach Anthony Figueroa, who previously spent nine years as the head coach of Parkland College in Champaign, Illinois. He succeeds Todd Raritan, who led the Cardinals for 18 seasons. Those are big shoes to fill and a big opportunity that Figueroa was excited about for reasons both on and off the court. Winning, tradition, location, conference, um, I think all that you know, <laughs> encompasses, you know, a decision. Um, you know, we talk about the location, not just the fact that we're next to downtown Naperville, but the fact that you're in Naperville. So when you have young kids like I do in school districts and adult, adulting comes into play, I think, you know, all that's a factor. You know, however, the tradition in winning and playing in the best league in the country, you know, night in and night out and, and being tested by the best players and the best coaches, you know, as a competitor, I think that's what you seek out. We actually got the chance to interview him last year, uh, which was pretty neat. You know, you could tell that we all clicked with him well. So I wouldn't say it was easy, but I mean, I thought we played it pretty smooth that we just, it was all about communication. And I thought we did as good of a job as you could have through that transition. There were a lot of minutes coming back. Um, so I was, I was confident they'd have some chemistry. They did, you know, there was a comfortability with each other, which is great. Just knowing that the cupboard wasn't bare, probably is the best way to put it, was was always positive and, and again, made the job very intriguing. And it was definitely an adjustment that um, I think us older guys kind of took upon ourselves to try and learn as, as fast as possible. And, you know, when you, you're taught certain things for three years and you get something totally new brought in, it's, it's a challenge, but I think we picked up on it um, fairly quickly, to be honest with you. I thought it was as smooth as a transition can go um, with communication wise and just reaching out and being getting in here over the summer during open gyms and, you know, meeting him, talking with him and just, yeah, I thought us, us seniors did as good of a job as you could have done in a situation like that. You don't want to change too much too quickly. So I'm sure our assistant coaches got tired of me asking, well, how'd you guys do this in the past? You know, I wanted to make sure that there was some, you know, there was a bridge that I just didn't come in and just overnight, we're just gonna do things completely different because some things didn't need to change. Um, the program was in a good spot, is in a good spot. While the Cardinals and their new coach did go through their growing pains, they rounded into form down the stretch of the season and won their final three games to secure a spot in the CCIW tournament. Matt Helwig was selected as a unanimous first-team All-CCIW inclusion for the second year in a row, while Lewis earned second-team honors despite only joining the team at the semester break. It was Lewis's integration into the squad and his growing partnership with Helwig in particular that paralleled the Cardinals playing their best basketball. I think he's, he's a very smart player and he knows uh, spacing on the court where to be, so I think it was kind of a natural transition for us to, to, to um, play together, but it, there was definitely some some rough parts at first, because just because he hasn't played best one in a long time. So uh, I think later in the season, we kind of picked up on it and started uh, to click a lot more. I know what my strengths are, you know, down low, low at the block. Um, you take that away, then I'm just going to try to, you know, find something else to uh, 
to find another way to score and whatnot. And, uh, you know, if I were to describe my game, I think I can do a little bit of everything. I thought we had a good groove going uh, late, which is which is what you want. You want to be want to be at your best late. Um, I think it, it was guys just respecting each other, listening to coaching, understanding who could do what, when, how, what they were good at, what they maybe struggled at, <clears throat> and just coming together in that respect. I would say this year was a, a journey. Uh, I think we started off, you know, we felt pretty good uh, with our first few wins there early on the season. Then, you know, we hit a rough patch, which, you know, it's difficult. You know, it's not as easy as everyone thinks uh, with, with a new coach, which, you know, we ran some of the same stuff as the years past. But in the last three regular season games, you know, I just hope the guys next year build on that um, and see what it looks like um, playing good basketball under Coach Fig and um, the staff here. The four-point loss at Elmhurst University in the CCIW quarterfinals, in which Helwig scored 33 points and Lewis added 19, is obviously not the way the seniors would have liked the season or their careers to end. Figueroa has only been part of the last year of their journeys, but he knows just how much they've meant to the program and the things beyond their on-court contributions he'll have to replace. Meanwhile, the players hope they did all they could to set an example for their teammates who will be charged with making each successive year of the Figueroa era better than the one before. We're gonna miss leadership. You know, whether it's, you know, like for example, Matt's not necessarily a big vocal guy, but he does have a story and he has a, a work ethic um, that, that just, you know, permeates throughout the program and you see him and you, you know, you gotta try to emulate that if you wanna be a good player in this league. So just leadership, you know, Shea's more of a vocal guy. So, you know, we'll miss that. Um, but hopefully some guys can step up in their, in their place and, and we can keep things moving forward. I think it's discipline, um, you know, showing up every day, going through tough practices and, you know, college basketball isn't easy. The first year I was here, I never thought of myself being 20 points per game average, first team all conference. Um, so I just had to really put in a lot of work and uh, I, I guess it showed off. You know, like some of the younger guys can uh, take what I did, learn from my work ethic and, and build upon that. I think that we, um, you know, obviously didn't end the season as we wanted to, but I think that we took a lot of steps in the right direction for, for the next uh, next team next year. It's just something about being on a team and the camaraderie of being with your teammates and your brothers going out to war every day, including practice um, and games, uh, is, is something I'll miss for sure, yeah.